after the euphoria of unpacking your wave, putting in the SIM card, and the external memory, and charging the battery, and the shock of seeing the super bright AMOLED display in action for the first time. And I'm still shocked. It's absolutely amazing. At a given moment you're going to think, well, what now? The phone you've got in your hand has been in a box for the past few months, so its software needs to be updated to the digital here and now. So here's how to upgrade your firmware. First, it's very wise to check if your computer meets the minimum requirements specified. If your computer doesn't, you will almost certainly run into trouble. These are the minimum specs, and they're also to be found on the Samsung Wave website. KISS works with the following operating systems. Windows XP with Service Pack 2, Windows Vista, and they say here Windows 7. Installation with Windows 7, especially the 64-bit versions, can be problematic as I discovered myself. You'll need a processor of 1.8 GHz, preferably faster. You'll need a minimum of 1 GB of internal memory, preferably more. At least 500 MB of free hard disk space. A screen resolution of 1024 by 768 pixels. And the following software should be installed on your computer. .NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1 Windows Media Player, latest version, that could be 11 or 12 DirectX 9.0C for your multimedia tasking For XP you'll also need ActiveSync and for Vista you'll need the Device Center These tools help your device to sync to your computer Just Google search these terms and they should take you to the relevant download page at Microsoft Secondly, you're going to need to get Samsung Keys. That's the interface that gets your device to talk to your computer and vice versa. Google Samsung Mobile to take you to samsungmobile.co.uk or any other country you may wish. Choose your phone, in this case, Wave. Go to Support. At this point, it may be wise to download the user manual PDF so that you can view it on your computer without having to use a microscope. Click on the software tab and you'll see Samsung Keys PC Sync release date in this case the 24th of August 2010 and therefore containing the most recent firmware for your phone. Download the executable file, run it, follow the instructions and when it's complete the icon should appear on your desktop. Then you can start the program. Before you connect your device to the computer, just check the USB settings in your device. Press the Task Manager, press Settings, Connectivity, USB Settings, then choose Samsung Keys, and then Set. This is important. Close all the running applications on your device and put the device in idle mode. Otherwise, the computer will not recognize the device. Then connect your device to your computer and a progress bar will appear while the two try to find each other. And when they do, the device icon will appear in the keys interface. As you can see, we've got lots of goodies to explore later. But what we're interested in right now is this little button here. Upgrade firmware. If you click it, you should be guided through the upgrade procedure with the upgrade progress bar. It may not be successful the first time, as in my case. I use Windows 7 64-bit version and my phone eventually crashed completely. It seems that Wave's relationship with this operating system has yet to mature, so there's still a lot of tweaking to do for Samsung. If it crashes, happily we have the device restore mode. Reach by pressing the camera button, power button and the volume down buttons at the same time. Connect your device to the computer and Keys should guide you through the restore procedure. You may have to try this more than once. If you don't mind, I'm going to leave mine just the way it is because it works fine right now. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope I've saved you some time and some stress so that you can have a chillaxed user experience of this exceptional piece of digital wizardry. I'll catch you next time. Okay.